Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to talk briefly today about Virtual DJ 8's POI editor. That's Points of Interest Editor. What that is, it's a, an editor in uh, the software that lets you modify your, your hot cues, your hot loops, and uh, a bunch of other points uh, that you can mark in your song. Uh, it's, it's pretty handy. Uh, first of all, I want to say that this is going to be something that you're going to want to do not uh, while you're at the event. This is something you're going to want to do beforehand. So let's uh, dig right into it. This is going to be part one. We're going to split it up a little bit. Um, to get to your POI editor, uh, the, the way I usually go is you go to your hot cue window here, make it large. If you go to edit, it brings that POI editor right up. Uh, an alternative way to get to it is if you go to your waveform here, your right mouse click on it, and there you go. There's your POI editor. So let's just take a look at it over and go over it really quick. Um, uh, down here you have this will be a list of all all the points that you have set up in your song uh, you can name it anything you want you got to tell it what kind of point it is and uh, the status of that point where it's where it's gonna set at uh, in in the, the memory of the song um, this is so you can center this little icon is so you can center the track on the cue point that you're working on uh, it's it's uh, something that seems like it doesn't work uh, but you just have to, uh, it's, it's, it has its functions, and I'll show you what it is. Uh, this here, so you can delete uh, your cue points, and then here, so you can play your song, and then this acts like a, almost like a, uh, like a, the cue function, the cue button um, uh, in the player. Um, here, we also have a snap and show all. First of all, I want to do show all, because you can see here, we have no cue points set up. Well, that's not true because Virtual DJ will set up cue points for you. And you can see them right here by clicking show all. Look, click it. Here's all these cue points. And now you can see them. Here they are. There's one here. There's one over here. There's there are these little uh, icons right here. Now, what these cue points are that Virtual DJ is doing for you is they are cue points for the uh, auto play. So if you're automatically playing something, um, uh, these are the cue points that it uses uh, to make its mixes so uh, and there's different modes of autoplay it can do uh, a, f a fade in fade out you know a, a tempo mix whatever and it uses uh, these functions here now why can't you see them why do you have to click show all to see them and they're not here and you you definitely can't see them here so uh, the reason is is here if you select any of them the uh, the Q mode here is invisible okay which is actually what you want it to be because once you set these, you're probably just going to forget about them. You're not going to use them again. So don't clutter up your screen by by uh, making these visible. Uh, you wanna uh, the ones that you want to see are your hot loops, your hot cues, and uh, some other ones. You can uh, make labels on there. Also, we'll get in that too. Um, so uh, here we're going to go ahead and we're going to set. We'll get rid of this. We're going to set a cue point. Uh, we're going to set it right here at the beginning of our song. Uh, I'm just going to do it right there, so that way we can. Uh, make it nice and easy edit now here it is q1 now the first thing that we can do with this q point is we can name it we can name it whatever we want in this case we're going to name it start okay now you can make multiple q points like let's say new and here's another one we'll say it um middle and then we'll be doing a third one we'll call it outro Okay, now let's move these cue points. Now to zoom in, just go on your waveform with your mouse and use the scroll wheel in the center. That'll zoom in, you can go right into your beats. Okay, and we're gonna go, we're gonna find middle. We're gonna take it and we're gonna move it. Let's just screw, scroll a little bit. We're gonna move it right to about the center of the song. Okay, because that's why we're called it middle. Outro, we're gonna do the same thing. Select outro. Um, Take it, and then now we can drag it wherever we want it. Let's zoom way out. Go all the way over here. Okay. Now, uh, first I want to show you this cue point because someone had a question on this: is what what does it do? Because when you you're zoomed out like this, it doesn't seem to do anything. Well, that's not true. What it is is this will center whatever cue point you're working on in the center of your screen. Now, when you're zoomed out all the way like this, it it doesn't seem like it does anything. But really, um, is if you zoom in. Um, like if I'm, there's no cue points on my screen, but if right now I have start selected, if I click on this, it takes me right to the start. Same thing with middle. Uh, if I'm, I get off the middle, I'm over here, I click it and then it takes me back to it. There it is right there. So this is just recenters that in the screen. 
Um, and then if you want to delete any of these cue points, uh, you can uh, use the delete button, say yes, done. To test out any of your cue points, like our start, we click this, it'll play from that point, or uh, take our cursor back, and this acts like a, if you're trying to sneak up on a beat and get it just perfect, uh, you can use that also. So that's an, an intro to the POI editor, but we're just getting started. There's lots of really great stuff because in here we have all these different uh, types of cue points or different kinds of points that you can set up and we'll go through all of them. Um, so this is just part one and uh, go on now to part two.